winter is coming, so I bought a new space heater. Got the ceiling, 20 kilowatt infrared. Uh, diesel paraffin or kerosene, so it'll run off of all three. Fired it up for the first time, and as you can see, it is glowing. It's really quiet too. So I bought it to replace the. I had a little yellow one. Um, now these. There's different versions of them available. So this is the Sealy version. There is actually a Draper version. There's a Sealy version. There's a, a Master version. All varying in price. Um, now they all vary slightly in the specs as well. Uh, this one says 20 kilowatt. The Draper one says 17 and a half. Um, yet the fuel consumption specs are all very similar so I suspect they're all exactly the same power with just different numbers on the side um, I bought this because I'm in a really big building so there's a lot of area there's, there's not really a lot of um, well it's a tall ceiling that just gets taller so heat just runs away so I decided that I wanted to think with a radiant heat now in this thing, there is a small fan that cools the outer rim here and keeps the, the outer part from getting too, from, well, from getting hot at all. And actually when you put your hand on it, that's stone cold to the touch. The fan actually draws it in from under here. So you've got three vents where it sucks the air in from to blow out here. You've got your full fuel filler there. There's an on-off switch and an LED light on the back. LED light, switch, okay, there you go. Fuel gauge there. Uh, unfortunately no temperature control, but you're in a workshop, in an uns uninsulated workshop. <laughs> They're no use. It's not gonna do anything for you. Um, and then basically you have this ceramic plate on the front that just glows red um, and then obviously there is some small air coming off of it but what I like about this is unlike a traditional space heater which is just blowing the air through I can actually stand over here to the side of this and I feel that warmth hitting me on my, on my stomach I can feel the warmth off of it same if I come over here I can still feel the heat. I can feel it on my head, all the way down to my legs. And now obviously if I stand here, I still feel the heat. But not only do I feel the heat, you've got that, that breeze of that air coming from around the, the outer ring. Um, it's quite large. Not depth but height I mean it's sort of you know it's it's knee height uh, relatively light until you put fuel in it and it's a bit heavy um, pretty easy to when it comes in the box you just got to screw this handle on uh, when you first turn it on you have to turn it on and then it sort of goes into this won't light cycle um, where it works, you hear it working, you hear the fuel pump kick in, but nothing happens, and it's because there's air in the line. You do that of the third time I did it, because it sort of goes through its cycle, and then the red light starts flashing. Turn it off, turn it on again, and then it it went the third time. Um, when you turn this off, you can't turn it off at the socket. You have to turn it off on the back of the screen, on the back with the switch, because if you don't, the infrared plate crack so not very good if you live somewhere that has a lot of power cuts but when you turn it off the plate glows and then the fan just runs for five minutes which cools it down so yeah new space heater um, I'll keep you up to date about how it goes over the 
you know, beginning of the next year when it's uh, cold and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.